Today's edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen for Mac, PDF Pen Pro for Mac, PDF Pen for iPhone and iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander for Mac, Text Expander for iPhone and iPad, and Disk Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is at the Digital Experience in Las Vegas. I'm in the Boom Cloud 360 booth talking to Alan about the Boomstick. Alan, it's great to see you. Well, thanks for coming by, Chuck. I appreciate it. So let's let's we'll wait to establish your credibility later. Um, let's let's talk about Boomstick. What right it is? Now, I'll just be some guy. Yeah, some some guy that's going to tell us about Boomstick. What is Boomstick? Okay, the Boomstick is a little portable audio signal processor that embodies an algorithm that is designed to extract information from the standard content that's coming out of your phone, your iPad, or virtually any source, your computer, and present that information to the ear and the brain in a better way. So you have the ability to perceive it more like we naturally hear rather than just two speakers in two, in two ears. If you, if you think about it, stereo was invented in the 30s, and it's been a long time since the 30s, and there might be just a few incremental improvements since then. And that's what the intent is. So there's, there's three areas it works in. One is um, bass enhancement, which is psychoacoustic bass enhancement that uh, causes the ear to perceive bass at lower frequencies than the headphones might even be able to reproduce. Um, spatial optimization to open up the spatial panorama and the, and the spatial image so that instead of having that typical headphone feeling that everything's inside your head, it opens it up around your head and immerses it. And then there's high frequency contouring, which works with the spatial uh, optimization to bring out more detail in the music. A lot of people uh, that use this for a period of time say they've listened to a song for years and they've heard new elements in it that they've never heard before by using this process. At the end of the day, the goal is to make music, the experience of listening to music, more emotionally involving and more immersive than it is with a normal uh, stereo reproduction through headphones. So this obviously is, is primarily for headphones. Yeah, this is designed specifically for headphones. Although anecdotally, people have told me they tried it in their cars and they really liked it. <laughs> oh, wouldn't have thought of that particular use. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> but, but this is actually specifically for headphones. Okay, and, and are we talking about like I have to have really high-end headphones to appreciate this or can I use the lowly Apple earbuds and still get the effect? We actually considered that, and we have a special mode in there uh, for lowly Apple earbuds, uh, where we actually set the algorithm a little more aggressively, designed to compensate for the fact that those things don't seal very well in your ears. You don't get a lot of bass, um, and a lot of the high, more of the high frequency information is lost or sounds too shrill, and so that mode is optimized specifically for those. Although. It, in, a, in its regular mode, it works extremely well for high-end headphones uh, also. Um, we've done a lot of consumer surveys. We've had people use them with the free earbuds, and we've had people use the technology with expensive headphones. And in both cases, there was a significant improvement, but a very significant improvement with the inexpensive headsets. Now, is this, you, you mentioned a mode. Is this something that I control the the uh, the effects or the degree of the effects? Are there settings or an app for it? Or yeah, there's two settings in the Boomstick itself. Uh, one is the normal setting when you first turn it on. Um, let's see, if, well, when you first turn it on, a ring lights up around a rather large button, and that allows you to turn the algorithm on and off. Um, if you have the ring lit and you hold the button down for about two seconds, it puts us into this other more aggressive mode, which is designed for inexpensive earbuds. And then you can still turn that directly on and off as well. And to be clear, this is a device that is, is not very large, so it's not going to interfere with your headphones. It's not like you're having to carry something around in your pocket or whatever. Right. It's a very small device. It's very lightweight. It weighs, weighs less than an ounce. So it's, you can almost think of it as sort of a headphone extension cable. Now, I mentioned your credibility. Um, you spent a bit of time at SRS Labs, something that a lot of Mac users will know from a while back when you were doing some audio processing there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually spent almost 20 years there and managed to get 30 patents in audio signal processing and psychoacoustics during that time. So... Is that all? Yeah, yeah. well, you know, <laughs> the, 
it's basically what have you done for me lately? <laughs> I remember those days fondly because that was a, a device and, and a process that always did make music sound more engaging. And we're joking, of course, but I'm sure there's been even more learned now about the process. Well, we, we sold the company a few years ago, and um, I still felt there was more that I could do. And I said, all right, no holds barred. I'm going to try to develop a new algorithm specifically for headphones that's as musical and as pleasing as possible. And this is the result. So basically wiped the slate clean, said what would I do if I didn't have to be concerned about, at that point, anything, commercial issues or anything, and created this, uh, this new algorithm. I uh, have to ask, how much and is it shipping yet? It is uh, $99. It's available for pre-order on our website right now and will be shipping in early March. It will also be available in retail in the March-April time. Uh, and the website is? Uh, BoomCloud360.com. One of the things I should also mention is you can try it on the website in real time. Oh, really? Actually, there's a boom stick on there, and you can select the track to play. There's a, you obviously can't try it with your own music, but there's some tracks on there to play, and you can push the button and hear what it sounds like when you turn it on and off if you have headphones plugged into your computer or your phone or your iPad. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect. So try before you buy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Alan, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, Chuck. It was a pleasure. Folks, more from the digital experience in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.